we have this. I don't think it's exactly very, very important. But we need to at least have an idea what is Newton's third law. Have you heard of it? Newton's third law. Yes. No. <laughs> don't know. Yeah. Don't, don't know. Don't know. Okay. So it's just, you just have an impression of it. You just have an idea of it. I think that's very much enough for, for, for now. Because I don't think it will be very elaborate in your syllabus. Or it may not even turn up in your syllabus. But you still need to draw some free body diagram. So I think this is something that is good to know. So what it says is, okay. So what happens is like this, huh? Okay, it's not a very nice thing for me to say. But if you get bullied in school, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Or... Or some, or, or maybe you will see those TV drama when they you see someone giving another person a slap. Usually, we will see the uh, the other person who got slapped naturally will just return the slap, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this one. Okay. So this this person slap starts the slap first. Ah, uh, slap the kid down here. Okay. So then the kid will return the slap. Huh? So down here. You can think of this as the, the starter, so the one who execute, uh, starts the action. And then the person here, the second person, right, is only doing reacting to the slap. Can, can we define it that way? Yeah. So the person who issue it is the action, uh, that, that slap is the action. And then the, the one that reacted to the slap, that is the reaction. Yeah. So then you look at Newton's third law, it says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. Mm, which is illustrated by this this little analogy. So okay, so if the action someone slaps the other uh, bully slaps the other person five newtons. So here you will return with five newtons, but in the opposite direction. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Then which is summarized here like this. But another way to to let's say illustrate this is we have a table. Okay, we have a table. Then I put a book on it. Okay, what would you expect? Okay, what will happen to the book? I just put a book there. The book will be stationary. The book will just sit down there. Stationary, right? yeah. Mm. Okay, but uh, are there forces on the book? Yeah. Okay, let's gravity. Yeah. That's so, gravity. Mm, no more there's gravity. Forces. So there's gravity. Okay. So if... There is gravity, it is a pulling down force. So if it's just one force, the book will fall through the desk. So it will just create a hole and break the table. The book falls. Mm. If there's only one force. Then you mentioned there's a normal reaction force, right? On the table by this thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So that reaction that is a reaction to the weight. And it keeps the and it keeps the book on the table. So this is the action, and then this is the reaction in this situation. So that is how how the book stays on the table is Newton's third law. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. reasonable, huh? Yeah. So another example here, you have the ball hitting the wall. Then you will see the ball and the wall down here. There are two forces, and these two forces are acting in the opposite direction. Okay. So you have to identify which force is which force. So F1, let's color code the ball. Okay. So F1 is the force exerted by the by the ball on the wall. So the ball hits the wall and it pushes the wall. So the force exerted by the ball is inwards towards the wall. Then you have another thing, you have the wall, and the wall, because of what have what the ball did, right? It will react and exert another force called F2 on the ball. And it's in opposite direction. Okay? Yeah. Mm. So this one will be the action because the ball hits the wall first. So it starts that. And then this is the reaction. Okay? Yeah? Definition's clear.